My Black Universe. And it's time to review Nature Boys grooming products. You guys know I got the big boy kit right here. If you'd like to see the unboxing, be sure to hit the, the link above or below. And yeah, let's talk about it. So we use the entire kit the entire time. And I have a lot of great things to say about this kit. So number one, I love the fit and finish of this whole box. It's not super heavy. You know, it's not trying to overdo it. Just right, sturdy enough. You know, just hollow enough, you know, so you can have the contents inside. Looks real nice, a nice finish on it. I like that a lot. It looks grown man, you know? That's what you want when you, you're spending this type of money. You want that grown man look, that grown man feel. You want to feel like it's premium, and it does a great job of that. Now, inside, you know, what is that velvet? <laughs> now you got the suede lining on the inside. It feels really nice. Of course, and this layout is pretty dope. I like this layout a lot. I do have a few issues with one particular product and the way it's uh, set in here. But for the most part, I do like this layout and I dig it. Uh, as you can see, in here, the way the comb is and the brush and everything like that, super dope. Of course, you know, the star of the show, as far as its utility, is this comb. This comb is dope. Whether you have the teeth that are closer together, on here, you know, because when your beard's not that thick, you just want to go through it. You know, you can just do that. Or if you got the big beard going on, you know what I'm saying, you can hit it with the two fingers and you can just come right through it. Just come right through it. Right? So the utility of this comb is amazing. It looks amazing. It's just a really nice piece. Shout out to Carbon AR. Uh, it's on here. I'll show you guys. You know, you know what I'm gonna do, man. You know, check out that B-roll footage. I like the brush. Um, I believe you can get this brush in two different type of bristles. Um, I got the softer bristles. I don't think I got the firm. I gotta double check, but I'll I'll throw that up here. But I like this brush a lot. Just you know, get the little beady beads in that. You know, uh, I'm I'm older, so you know, brush them out. Sometimes just to brush your beard. You just want to brush it down. It's night time to say that's part of your routine. I think that's super dope. Now let's get to the contents of the kit that make the kit what it is. All right, first things first, let's talk about the beard oil. So I like this beard oil. It does a good job. You don't have to use a lot of it. Everything in here is handmade. Uh, the instructions are clear on what to use. You know, use a dime size amount but the only issue I have is I don't think this was enough my beard even just using the dime size I start to run out of beard oil before I ran out of the balm the balm or the beard uh conditioner so I would uh like to see maybe a 15% increase not necessarily 25 or 50 percent but 15%, I'm thinking maybe 20% increase in the volume size of the beard oil. I think that'd be most helpful just so I can keep up with the other two containers. Now let's talk about the beard balm. In fact, I think I still got some beard balm in here. You know, I was struggling with this first time. Yep. So this last, this container is like perfectly sized. This actually outlasts both of the other contents. Um, as far as usability, so I still got enough of this to go two, three more days, right? Now, this one, I have kind of a love-hate relationship with it. And not because of the product itself, just because of its layout in, in here. Right here. Right here. If you see it, you should be able to see it. Yeah, a little bit of spillage. A little bit of spillage. I don't like that because of the nature of this content. Because it's so, so creamy, it's almost you know fluid-like in its uh in its uh, consistency. I don't think this should be laying on the side in the in the uh, in your your box. Because uh, what happens is you get a fair amount of it. 
drying up inside of the lid or in the grooves and that's because it's it just a little bit seeps out a little bit seeps out it's because it's you know it's such a thin uh, consistency it's a thin you know material you know so you can kind of glide to your beard which is dope that's actually smart it works well for your beard not necessarily work, not necessarily works the best for being set on the side I have to use because what I, you know I'm not going to just leave these out I, got, I bought this for a reason right you buy this for a reason you know what I mean you feel me so you're gonna put everything back and I noticed I was like man I got some of my beard stuff so you know I, 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 look I spent some money so I hey fellas y'all know you, you, we're gonna use that <laughs> we're gonna use it so it, it's it's a great product well designed um the layout for the most part besides that uh besides my issue with the beer conditioner being on the side smart this i think this could be adjusted to maybe make it way for this to be placed face down because it's not it's kind of like a beeswax consistency so it's not just gonna go anywhere, all right? You can side upside down. It's gonna hold. It's just gonna hold. And that's my that's my thing, you know. Only issue I had was pretty much these two. This one for being placed on the side because it did leak out. And this one not being able to keep up with the other two, as far as uh, how much product I had left when it started to come down to the end of it. So just to, for me to balance it out on my end, I like to see a slightly larger volume on the beard oil and just a different type of uh, layout that allows for this to set down. In fact, you could probably almost swap them and I'll, I'll give you guys a picture. You can almost, almost swap the two. Almost. Yeah, I think the beeswax can go, it can go sideways and the conditioner could sit straight down. Now, it would have to go down considerably a, a further distance. I, I get that, but, you know, the brush, brush is almost touching the bottom. So I think it can be done. And these just personal gripes, you know. Other than that, is it worth it? The money? Yes, if you're your grown man, you that dude, you got a watch collection that you kind of mold over. You made sure it's, you know, each piece is a piece you wanted. And uh, it, it goes with what you want. You got your shoes game right. You got your fedora game right. You make sure you got your, your, your eye game right. Your teeth game right. Your breath game and body odor game right. And you want to make sure your beard is right. You're going to look for a kit like this. This is where it stands. It stands at the upper echelon of beard kits. That's all I have to say about it. So hit the link below, get your own. Coming up on No Shade November, right? This November, towards November, I'll start looking there for them in October because they will sell out, all right? It took me three years to get mine. Until next time, peace and black empowerment. Yeah, I know the video's over, but nature boy. Redwood? Redwood?